The gas phase is characterized by the absence of interactions between molecules. As such, gases fill their containers and, at normal pressures, have very low densities. An important property of a gas is its pressure, the force it applies to a surface. In the SI system, we should use pascals. However, atmospheres are often used. One atmosphere of pressure is equal to 101,325 pascals, or 101.325 kilopascals. We are physiologically adapted to the atmospheric pressure, so we do not feel it. However, the force exerted on you by the atmosphere is considerable. Pressures can be measured by either a barometer or a manometer. Boyle discovered that as the volume of a gas was reduced, its pressure increased. Boyle's law states that for a given gas sample at constant temperature, the product of the pressure and the volume yielded a constant. The pressure and volume are thus inversely proportional. Charles and Gay-Lussac independently discovered that when the temperature of a gas was increased, so did its volume. Charles and Gay-Lussac's law states that for a given gas sample at constant pressure, the volume divided by the temperature is a constant. The volume and the temperature are thus directly proportional. However, this simple relationship is only true if we express the temperature in Kelvin. The final key relationship for a gas is Avogadro's law. It states that at a fixed pressure and temperature, the volume is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. These three laws can be mathematically combined to derive the famous equation PV equals nRT. What this tells us is that if we know three of the four variables of a gas, pressure, volume, amount, and temperature, the fourth one can be calculated. When expressing the pressure in atmospheres, R is equal to 0 0.082056. When the pressure is expressed in kilopascals and the volume in liters, R is equal to 8.3145. If we know the density of a gas, PV equals nRT can be rearranged to yield a simple equation that allows us to calculate the molar mass of a gas.